Hey guys, in this review, I'm going to tell you about my experience using Rise Brewing Company Original Black Nitro Brew Organic Coffee. When I order it from Amazon, it comes in a package that looks just like this. However, it is in a box. For the number of times I've ordered cans from a Amazon, I've been very fortunate not to have a bad experience. I ordered the 7 ounce 12 pack. The reason that I like these, they do not have sugar in them. There's nothing added except coffee and water. The reason I like the Nitro Coffee, it creates a unique frothy effect when it's poured out into a cup. I use a glass cup. When I pour it out, I tip the can over. I'm not going to do it with this one because I don't want to activate it, but you basically tip the can really quick and then open it immediately and start to pour it into the glass. And then you get this really frothy, sweet tasting coffee. I personally really enjoy it and I I don't like any of the additives. In each can, there is 180 milligrams of caffeine. They have a small label here that says it equals two cups of coffee. Normally, in my experience, a cup of coffee has between 60 and 70 milligrams of caffeine. They're, they're talking about two bigger cups of coffee, in my opinion, because that's about 90 milligrams a cup. Two carbs, less than one gram of protein. Again, the ingredients are just water, organic coffee. So if you go to a grocery store to buy these, if you're lucky, you'll find them on sale for two for $5. It's the best I've ever seen them anywhere between four or five different groceries stores. The normal price I see on these is between three and five dollars a can. If you're getting a 12 pack at, at this price on Amazon for Prime, basically $35. If you can find them for $2.50 a can, that's a pretty good deal. When I've had these sit out for a three weeks or a month, if I forgot about a can that was sitting somewhere and then I went to use it, I noticed that the, the frothiness is not as good. For example, these are newer cans. I just got these. This cup has been sitting out for about 40 minutes and there's still a layer of froth on the top, which is really cool. This is what I really enjoy about it. I don't have to add anything to it. I don't want to add anything to it. I just basically want clean organic coffee. So if you're looking for that, this is a great solution. But remember, the caffeine content is very high in this. If you're used to drinking a smaller cup of coffee, which is around 60 milligrams or 70 or 80 or 90, this is double that. I normally drink this over about a two to three hour window. I'm not just sitting there chugging it down. It is cold, obviously. It is not a warm coffee. So you enjoy a warm cup of coffee. This is not uh, the solution for you. I don't know if you can even warm it up. I don't know why you'd want to put it in the microwave. Or, yeah, I went ahead and put a link down below to the exact one that I order on Amazon from the Rise Brewing Company store. I highly recommend if you like plain coffee, you want that extra flavor without adding things to it with that frothiness and the organic. It also says non-GMO on there. Pretty cool stuff. And just as a side note, I, I research and study a lot of different doctor viewpoints on coffee. And one thing that's consistent is that coffee uses some of the highest levels of pesticides. If you are at all conscious or care about that, then pretty special when you find an organic coffee, particularly one that I don't feel I need to add anything else to of the uh, natural characteristic of the oxygenated liquid. Thanks for watching. Hope this review was helpful.